This episode of Dungeons and Dorkheads is brought to you by Green Man Gaming. Head down to the link below to get some fantastic deals on video games and shop with confidence knowing that every game on this site comes directly from publishers and you get a fantastic deal in the process. Not only that, this video is also brought to you by XSplit. Head down to the other link down there and get in on the fantastic family of products that XSplit has to offer, including XSplit Broadcaster, which is a fantastic program for live streaming, video recording, and even making this video that you're watching right now. Head down to the link below. And let's not forget, the show wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for the great people making Foundry Virtual Tabletop. Head down to the link below. Foundry Virtual Tabletop is perfect for all of your virtual tabletop needs. It's very easy to set up, very easy to mod, very easy to get all of your game systems working, including D&D 1st Edition, D&D 5th Edition, Pathfinder, Fallout Pen and Paper, even Bunkers and Badasses. Head down to the link below and try out Foundry Virtual Tabletop absolutely free. And last but certainly not least, we need to give a big shout out to the folks at ForgottenAdventures.net for their dedication to the craft of map making assets, virtual tokens, battle maps, clip studio brushes, and builder packs. All available on ForgottenAdventures.net. Link down below in the description. Alright, Sandra, your turn. Right, so, uh, bonus action, Zephyr Strike, just to give myself okay. advantage on this first attack, which is going to be Longbow Magic Arrow, so that's 6 plus 2 plus 8, and I'm giving myself advantage. Uh, 21. Did you, did you do a stabilization throw since you were still afraid of him? No, I did that uh, already. I succeeded. Oh, oh you oh. did it last turn, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so you shoot it with a 21 to hit. Yeah, that definitely hits. And the second arrow for All 18. Hits. <laughs> okay, so that is a lot. That is two. No, actually, that is 3d8. Two for the arrows, one for the force damage on Zephyr Strike, mm -hmm. plus five for... Plus five for one arrow. You know, let's make it plus ten because these are both magic arrows. Plus a one uh -huh. d six for Slayer's prey. Thirty-five. What? Thirty-five damage in total. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just send an arrow through two of the heads at once <laughs> and blast another one. Uh, so yeah, it it took some real damage on that one. And, uh, is that your turn? Uh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, uh, um, if... Then, is the birdie turn? <laughs> okay, hmm. well, before the bird turn, it's yeah. gonna nip Dante again. Oh my god, what? Okay, I just, need to ask, I just need to ask shit. How close is your bird to my dude? Uh, right behind uh, it. Okay, so uh, your bird and, needs to make a con save. And pretty high above it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's it's too high up to be affected. I'll give you that one. Yeah, that makes I just, good. As long as your bird's not making a dumb mistake of getting near the gross thing. Okay, so I <laughs> although I do like the I'm imagery of a flying zombie. Take two damage. No, yep, take two damage, and uh, then you're gonna do a flyby on it. Yep, uh, it's gonna do a flyby, uh, like over to here and around about here. It's gonna rip into it with his talons. And right, dope. I'm gonna see if I did this right. Oh fuck! Well, natural, natural twenty. Hits. I don't think it's supposed to have that plus two, but the plus four is spot on. <laughs> okay, no matter what, you're getting a double damage roll. So yep. I'm pretty sure that's a one d8 plus its strength. Would it be a two d8 since you got crit? It would be a two d8. Thank you. So that's a 2d8. Just click the crit button. <laughs> so that's a 2d8 plus. No, I didn't put damage in it yet. Fair enough. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just made that thing. 
Uh, yeah. Whoop how? Thirteen. <laughs> Stoked it a lot. Oh, oh my god. Grants your health. Uh, all right. Yeah, thirteen damage. Awesome. Anything else on their turn? Uh, that is all the bird can do. All right, it's gonna nip Dante again. Fucking nip the I bird. I swear to fucking god. Eight, oh, I think 18 is a nick, right? I mean, 18 is what my uh, DC's at. Alright, so damage. you're gonna take one fourth of five, so you take one point of damage. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just nips you on the on, on the pectoral and it just. Ow, it's bitch. gonna break a little bit. Ow! Nip, <laughs> uh, I would like to okay. apologize. Would like to apologize to Dante in advance. Uh, I'm not done yet. It's Gree's turn. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Uh, it is Gree's turn. Uh, Gree is gonna do a little bit of Eldritch Blast. <laughs> oh, All right, small for, one. Uh, for 18. Uh, hits. Go <laughs> whammage real quick. Uh, doing some whammage on that. The whole right, squad. Awesome. Anything else? Not, not bad. Anything else? That's all. That's all Gree is gonna do. All right, Demir, your turn. And Zach, right, your deck. I'm gonna it's... shoot that freaking cannon that I got. It's not gonna blast him. him. So, uh, you're going to use your move action, reload the cannon, and then shoot it. Mm-hmm. All right, epic. Uh, I don't recall if you're still feared or not. I am still feared. <laughs> okay, so roll at disadvantage. So get that plus seven. Demir out here like I ain't fucking with this shit. <laughs> Purple ammo. I ain't fucking with a goddamn goose. Oh. Damn, if only I had that 17. Anyway, I think that's one too short. Yes, you are correct. It, it flies over, and you you see it, like, go through the book, and you're like, oh, shit. And then you remember, oh, it's a spectral book. It's fine. Book <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm it. aiming for Rich. a head, and as I shoot, the head just snaps down to nip at Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, go ahead and make that wisdom save again to remove. Right, I, got, I got a not. I got a. You got, got a, this. You're oh, doing Demir, one. get it together. No, that's charisma. I may be charismatic, but not enough to get over it. Get it together, woman. You're do one. Come on. There you, you go. Finally. All right. You you are no longer feared by this thing out of fear, pure frustration that you can't hit it. <laughs> you already kind of did hit it. Tbh. I knocked the head off. Blasted its head off. The head off. <laughs> you can it, it's a head much better. Well, now that you've seen two heads die, you're just like, ah, we got this. <laughs> also, I no longer fear. Uh, also, one of the heads is nipping the uh, Zambambo. Oh no. <gasps> uh oh. All right. I've whammage. There we go. Whammage time. Huge is becoming too annoying to keep trying to nip. All right, Zach, your turn. All right, Zach's just gonna uh, just sort of sit here. Like everything's going pretty well. Like how many heads does it have left? Uh, currently six. Well, that's a good amount of heads, actually. Dang. Did I not blast off one of them with my thirty-five? Uh, you stabbed two of them together, and it already had uh formed more heads. Oh God. Oh. oh. That's what we're dealing yes. with. It does regenerate. Yeah, it's a hot. Right, that's what we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, bonus action. This on the Hydra for extra BS damage. All right. Um, gonna nice. use. Uh, yeah, just Elch Blast from a distance. <laughs> bang so bang. These things combined, we uh, do Eldritch Blast. So. Uh, no advantage, so just normal twice because it's two mm -hmm. beams. Yep, those both definitely hit. Great. <laughs> and then I get to add the proficiency bonus to damage. Woo! My proficiency bonus is a three. A blammo. Did I roll damage twice? Uh, it only rolled once. All right. Bam. All right, wow. you are blasting the feathers off this thing. Heavy eldritch blast. Uh, Wow. It is, yeah, it is looking bloodied at this point. All right, Pete Pagliacci, get to it. It's not been poisoned, uh, so. Before Pagliacci's turn, it is going to nip him again. No? 
No, poor Pantley, ah, oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> And frankly, I'm just happy that Dante's not getting. Much. Oh, Plato oh, Seven. Ow. Should be happy when Dante's getting bit. Right, Dante can take it. To it. <laughs> Slash back in defense. Nope, oh, nope, he missed. Unfortunately, uh, if only he had that extra eye. If only. And now, uh, Rajal, since you're already there, um, I think and at just the end of Putrid Pagliacci's turn, it's gonna nip again. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Who's it nipping? Uh, Putrid Pagliacci again. No, that's a hit. I like how it's, it's six fucking syllables and we have to say the whole thing every time. Yes. He's at four. <laughs> you so low. Alright, Rajal, uh, get in there with your fucking... Your, your gosh dang great axe. Normal. Come on. You're next next to it. Alright. Do it. Uh... uh so they do get brutal critical, so roll another d12. <laughs> another one? Oh, dang, okay. Uh, we just added that. 12, this god. Uh, alright, so I'm gonna just take that, uh, plus 7. So, right. 29 damage. Uh, Rajal just does a huge ass swing and just starts cutting heads off. <laughs> So, it is down an extra three heads. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Alright, then we're going to send in Torin, who has aggressive, which means he can move up with a bonus action, in addition to uh, movement, so like, that's cool. Remove so, his so. frightened condition. Yep, 60 feet. Alright, just uh, join in. Help, help, Link. <laughs> Dante, start smacking that thing. <laughs> Follow in your comrades' actions. Eh, bit. Uh, that does not hit. Really? Damn, okay. <laughs> yeah. He, he he slashes some feathers off of it, but the furrowing wings, you, you notice that there's way more wing than there should be. This is a very fucked up goose. Uh, all right, and I think that's and... all my people. Alright. Uh, it is now, once again, the Honktress turn. Alright. Heads do begin coming back, but... Uh, it does need to make a dexterity save against the Guardians. And a con save against the <laughs> future Pugliacci. I was wondering when this guy was gonna finally go. Uh, so... <laughs> nope! My statue mm. hits! It does 20! Yep. Alright, let's <laughs> pull off uh, 20, and then it also regenerates at the same time, and I accidentally just cleared all of its hit points. Uh, and then it needs to make a con save. Which it does get advantage on that. Wow, that's a seven. So, <laughs> future Pagliacci does in fact poison it. Yes. Uh, so it's now disadvantage on everything, basically. Huzzah. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right, wow. awesome. Poison so useful. A lot more heads back, but you notice these are significantly smaller. Uh, <laughs> it's almost as if it is having a hard time keeping up with the head growth. Uh, so, it was down to three, five, ten, alright, and now it has thirteen heads. Uh, <laughs> Did you so do that math is... right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, it, each of the heads that gets cut off sprouts into two more, so... Oh. Uh, it is going to make, uh, thirteen attacks. <laughs> uh, oh. so... Uh, one of them is going to nip at the Spirit Guardian. It doesn't know that it, the Spirit Guardian can't take damage. And then it is going to be uh, three attacks against each of the uh, people around him. Incoming. So, Fight me, bitch! Uh, Wait, are they all disadvantage rolls? Yes, they all are all disadvantaged, so this is going to be funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whoa. One of them manages to get Torin. That one definitely does not manage to get Torin. <laughs> uh, so, uh, five damage to Torin, and I'm gonna quick. Uh, but, but, oh no. <laughs> oh boy. See, Future Pagliacci so, was the MVP here, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna real quick roll uh, crit damage against itself. Uh, one of the heads just bites the other head. There's just two at this point. It's getting very crowded <laughs> on its face. Yup. 
Uh, alright, now these are against Dante. So, Uno, Dos, and Trace. Yup. Try it, it, it me, is... fucker. You just kind of, like, step back a little bit, and all of the heads are just, like, going at it, and <laughs> absolutely missing the mark. Mine, mine, uh, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> basically. Um, I think that's two hits on Rajal, surprisingly. How many heads uh, are they? What the fuck? There are 13. 13. Wait, aren't some of them small heads, though? Uh, yes. They are. But the damage is already, you know, garbage. So... Oh. <laughs> Uh, it, it legitimately, all of these hits are just mild inconveniences. It, it just has uh, a lot of them. Yes. Yeah, that's the real danger. And against Putrid Pagliacci, let me real quick, uh... Come on. Alright, yeah, it's, it's gonna nip itself again. Hold on, let me roll <laughs> self-damage real quick. Uh, alright, minus another two. And then last attack against Putrid Pagliacci. Wow, that's a oh <laughs> one. <laughs> Uh, wow, alright. <laughs> we fucked up this Hondra. <laughs> it's just having a bad day. Uh, My undead yeah. is making it tonight. <laughs> so, it successfully nips Putrid Pagliacci for two damage after successfully nipping itself for, like, the fucking six. God, uh, hopefully you get two <laughs> HP strong, my, undeads, my undead clown. <laughs> Undead entertainer, come on! Uh, right, and then uh, I. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, your turn. Yeah. Dante. Well, attack. I was gonna use healing word on Dante, but I kind of want the zombie to survive. Don't, wait, I don't even know if that would oh, affect it positively or negatively. Oh yeah, you're you're right. Right. healing kill the zombie. Okay, never yes. mind. Then Dante heal you, buddy kills him. Why would you do this? No. <laughs> Okay, hold on, I need to remember what he how much healing word does. Uh one plus four plus cast spell casting ability and can overpower it. You know what? It's level one, I'm gonna overpower it to level three. What or are you using it on? Uh Dante. Okay. <laughs> plus spell casting ability, so three D four plus three. Okay. Uh how much I'd... damage had Dante taken? Dude, I'm at 57 of 65. I'm pretty good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, now you're max. Oh, you're full health. <laughs> okay, and now I'm gonna use, um... Hopefully it does it this time. Toll the dead, since it's also taking damage at this point. So Alright, wisdom save? Oh, yeah, wisdom save. Alright, let's go! Uh, wait, hang on, uh, because it's poison, it has disadvantage. <laughs> nice! Oh no. <laughs> Technically, it's supposed to actually roll straight on this, but whatever. It got a two! So roll damage. Nice! Uh, I could have done way more, but still, that two is still gonna make okay. my day. Alright. Uh, and then, I think you can vote, no, your... Oh, book! Yeah, I forgot about the book. <laughs> Does is it bonus action to attack with the book or does that just do? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's counted as its own unit. Yeah, it's like the book is just do. What's the book called against? Yeah, okay. it's just creating it's a ritual it. weapon. Oh, it's right. It's only bonus action where it can move up to twenty, but making it and make an attack. But otherwise, I think it could just attack. Okay, go ahead and make your attack roll. Yeah, it definitely hits. Okay, uh, 1d8 plus 3. Nice, nice. You teach one of the heads the power of learning. Okay, let me see if I- oh, I can finally move Z Z Zella there. Zella runs back into the fray heroically, <laughs> but that is unfortunately all of her turn to get there. Oh, right. I don't think she has magic. So, nope. Okay, then. Yeah, that, that, that is her turn. And all right. That's that, all my turns, because I don't think I can do right. anything with Atchie since it's already attacked. So. And so, it, the Honkra is going to uh, nip at the putrid Pagliacci again. No. And go! Wow, that's another nat one. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Brothers Dubs blessed him today. This time. Shame. <laughs> Real MVP right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dante, go. All right, it gets zippity zapped. As my bonus action, I forgot that's not something I roll for. It just needs to make a deck saving throw. <laughs> Oh, but it's at disadvantage, too! Disadvantage for the deck saving throw, yeah. Okay, let's go. Ten. That, so that hits, so it's gonna take full damage of whatever the fuck this is gonna be. Nice. Nice, nice. Zippity zapped right out of my chest. And then I am wanna fucking punch it! <laughs> I desire punch. You got the punch. Excellent, you excellent. Definitely got it. Do it. Oh, and I get plus two to my damage. Right, right, right. To remember that. Because Lord knows I'ma just fucking forget. Get punched. Alright. Awesome. So that was the first hit, second attack. I'm gonna fucking punch it again. Double the fisting. Do it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, These heads are too tiny. Alright. And did you want a reckless attack to get advantage? No, that's only on my first attack. No, if you reckless attack you can you can get advantage on both of them. I mean, true. I mean, I could. I don't see why not. I'll recklessly attack it. Oh no, it might have a better chance at nipping you for a d4 damage. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> oh no, what will we do? So, uh, go ahead and make your second attack roll again. Just identical? Also, uh, yeah, but you're supposed to be rolling with like a plus 7 or something. Whoops, I fucked it up, my bad. Yeah, actually I think it's supposed to be plus 8. Because, uh, you have... some magic bullshit, I think? I don't know. No, that's yeah. just my DC that he changed. Okay. <laughs> but he's still okay. with I plus to, I, have to, I have to do the fucking KH, right? No, just roll a uh, single again, because you did the... Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, we're gonna take that first roll. <laughs> So, uh, heads yeah. Are tiny. Anything else on your turn? Nope. Alright, well, Ooh. it's gonna nip you again. Uh, yeah, I know it's gonna fucking do it again. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it does this. Uh, okay. So, so yeah. oh, oh boy. It, it actually did. Yeah, it actually surprisingly hit you. Two damage, half to one. <laughs> oh gosh. This is mildly inconvenient. <laughs> All right, uh, with that being the end of your turn, Sandra, your turn. Right, uh, let's get crazy. Why not? Uh, I'm going to run up behind uh, Dante here. 45 feet of movement. Zephyr Strike. I still got the 60 feet. Uh, going to reach into uh, my pocket here, and I'm going to throw pocket sand in his face. He must Which make... one of them? <laughs> any of them. He must make a dexterity saving throw... Disadvantage, DC is 12. Okay, or it's blinded, right? Or it is blinded and takes one damage. Hmm. Okay, right, well, I guess I'll roll to see if one of the heads takes one damage, because it's immune to blinded. Oh. oh dang. <laughs> well, if I knew that... I mean, it has 13 different heads. Yeah, how are you going to get all of those eyes? You know what? You're right. This is stupid. Um, okay. So instead of doing that, I'm going to bonus action Hunter's Mark on the guy. Okay. And then I'm going to send the usual uh, two arrows into his face. All right. Are you going to not be in its melee range? Sure. We'll say that I only moved... Uh, let's just call that 30 feet. Sounds good. All right. And uh, here's the first arrow. 
Okay, that hits. And the second arrow. Also hits. Nice. So that is a lot, actually. Uh, that is 2d8. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Plus 2d6, because one for the Slayer's Prey, one for the Hunter's Mark, plus mm -hmm. 10 for the Magic Arrows and my usual archery advantage for 31. Nice. So you are pinning heads together once again like an expert marksman. Uh, cool. Uh, and I'm just gonna... And I'm just gonna say I move over to this side because, like, I'm trying to get a better view or some shit. You know, just add some flavor here. Like, this thing cannot kill us. So. Alright. And at the end of your turn, uh, it's gonna nip at the putrid Pagliacci again. For God's sake. Stop biting this! Oh, oh, no. so <laughs> that is crazy! <laughs> itself again, but... <laughs> Dude, every time it goes for the zombie, it gets really fucking confused and bites itself. That is insane! <laughs> it's the wrong direction. So uh, uh, Alright, anything else for Dan? Uh, that, you that's have it for Sandra. Now, right? now, it's, uh, now it's the birdie bird. Okay. Uh, and a birdie bird's gonna do a flyby. Uh, okay. And uh, you know how this goes. It's gonna swipe at it with some talons. Okay, yeah, that hits. Alright, and I actually finished the damage on this one. Wow. For a five. Nice. And then, uh, unless it's gonna do a um, attack. I mean, yeah, it is. Alright, go Bless ahead. Me, uh, clown that's friend. all the birds got. Uh, now it's gonna go for Dante this time. Okay. 18, I think I think that's a Nick, right? Yes. Alright, so you can take another one damage. <laughs> Motherfucker, stop. <laughs> I am eating you the minute this is over. Well, wait, I could heal it. Oh, I, I, I failed to point out, actually, when uh, Dante <gasps> bit it, uh, Sandra went from... <laughs> uh, oh, I just realized... Mm. Um, okay. Bing, I, I can't heal. I have pulled the dead. Does that heal the undead? Damage. That's necrotic I mean... damage. So that would heal them. If I remember correctly. Uh, depends. Anyway, anything else, Hunter? Uh, yeah, just one more quick thing. Gree is going to move up here and he's going to send some Eldritch Blastity goodness his way. 20? And... Yeah, that hits. Oh, nice. Another eight. Excellent. Anything else? That's it. All right. Uh, the Honkra is... Uh, it hasn't gone for Rajal for a hot second. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, all right. Then it is Demare's turn. So, it. no longer frightened. You, Blast I'm assuming, move cannon. Hello. Hello. So, Demare's turn. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking for a quick second. You are <laughs> thinking first. So anyway, you started. <laughs> well, that's right. There is a tiny cannon right there. Okay, I was looking at sneak attack rolls. I was gonna see if I could sneak attack with my uh, cannonball. Cause oh yeah, sneak attack the four. The I mean, I don't. Because <laughs> look, here's the thing: it's a ranged weapon, but Steve said it can't be fired. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say specifically this cannon that you're using here definitely cannot sneak attack with this unless somehow you sneak up behind someone with the cannon and okay, it's pointing to be directly fair, I am a swashbuckler. I don't exactly sneak but, attack. But you already <laughs> fired at it twice. I think it's aware of the presence of the cannon. But again, <laughs> that sneak attacks aren't literally sneaking. They can know directly I'm here and still you sneak attack. That's the fun of being a it's swashbuckler. It's just about dirty hits. <laughs> Hell, regular rogue doesn't do sneaking to do sneak attacks. It's about dirty hits whenever someone's yeah. attention is It's literally occupied. just dirty hits, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, like when somebody's casually I'm gonna talking shoot to my you. cannon. Do it. Shoot it with a cannon. I'm gonna shoot it with my 
fucking Please do not. <laughs> Please do not miss. And... Oh, hang on, I have to add my proficiency. Boom. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Big oof on that. I like it, but shined. So yeah, I wanna know. I actually got really not looking so good. Does 8d10 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Uh, this cannon? Well, that, well, I'm just like, I looked up cannon. I don't know, I looked up cannon and said 6d10. Oh, whatever, roll, roll fucking 12d10 damage real quick. 12 yeah, that's a crit. Um, <laughs> hmm. that's a uh, maximum 120 damage. 12 10? Aiming for center of mass on the Hydra, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the perfect median, but still. Yes. Exactly. Uh, so, <laughs> as everyone is like fighting the Honkdra. You just hear another cannon blast, and then suddenly, uh, I'm gonna need everyone that's around- Nah, fuck it, let's save time. Uh, everyone just gets covered in a ridiculous amount of blood as the Honkra is just eviscerated. It is boom to pieces and made into a red smear upon the ground. <laughs> Dante turns. Dante turns. <laughs> oh lord. What is the splash radius on this? Uh, it's mostly like the general vicinity so over this? here. Yeah, about. D Dante <laughs> turns, in, turns in the direction <laughs> of Demare <laughs> just to scream, <laughs> I wanted to eat it, you bitch! <laughs> I mean, it's still there. Well, half of it's there. No. The other half is there. <laughs> Do you see anything left? There's just viscera everywhere. I'm sure you could scrape that up and cook it. Or eat it, I guess. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh. <laughs> and with that, you have solved my honkdra puzzle. Really Attack for massive yep. damage. Yeah, man, could you imagine if I did get to sneak attack I mean, on I that? I still can't believe it got so many nat ones. That was very good. <laughs> needed it, three it turns. like 15 times. To be fair, disadvantage sucks really bad yes. when you have it. <laughs> you could probably actually made advantage. it. I that, did this. That poison. Da did not Dante walks well, over no. and gives Zombie the high five. High five attempts to give with its rotten fingers. High five, <laughs> buddy! Future Pagliotti fucking dies. Uh, my, Just fucking disintegrates into the wind. My bird, uh, uh... some bitch. My bird flies down and lands on your shoulder. Oh. I should buddy. probably get away from that body. Ah. It's got disease. <laughs> also, Mare is now standing on top of the cannon victoriously. Still laughing! <laughs> Don, Don, Dante looks around to see if it can find to see if its heart made it. Uh, you see uh, about three different hearts scattered <laughs> upon the ground. One uh, of them is mostly Dante, intact. I say Dante picks up the most intact one. I'm gonna go Zach ahead just and... went up to the cannon and claps the mare on the back like fucking good job. I'm gonna. <laughs> I did it! I killed it! <laughs> Fuck all of you! <laughs> I, I look up at Demer and I give her a big ol' thumbs up. Ah, this ah, also gives her a thumbs and a up. nod of approval. <laughs> Let's keep this energy up when we get to the Cliff Castle. Dante <laughs> about- uh, still, uh, oh. I was gonna say, Dante about to take a bite, notices Sandra, and stops. What are you uh, doing? Uh, you might not want to look at this. <laughs> Just fair warning. So, uh, Can you uh, just give me one quick second? And I go ahead and I scoop up uh, my arrows that I used, all four of them. And I, uh, and I, I kind of go over here. Dante just starts chomping into the fucking heart. <laughs> you begin devouring heart. Uh, <laughs> Self Sword Stella, like, uh, turns around, absolutely covered in blood, and just goes, ah, this was not worth running back into <laughs> start walking <laughs> back into town 
coated in red. <laughs> As blood covered Dante's out here just eating a fucking heart. <laughs> I'm happy. If we can requisition some of those civilians to collect feathers for pillows and such, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I can use what them feathers? to fashion arrows. I mean, fair. I would like a honk trip pillow, though. That'd be very nice. Oh, I have this pillow back home made with down feathers of a baby griffin. Okay. <laughs> Dante, Dante looks down at it's how he's completely so red in blood and then starts drawing in it. It says, friends one, enemy zero. <laughs> on his fucking chest. <laughs> well, I better go get cleaned up. <laughs> Why does the camera keep looking at him? I don't know. My camera's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to prototype a token here. Oh, okay. So, uh, with that, me, me, okay. Uh, with that, the Honkra has been defeated, and you all are able to once again return to. Uh, within the town, and as all of you begin walking in, you see within the center of the town a number of uh, heavily armored figures with uh, symbols upon their shields that uh, seem to be of religious origin. Nicholas, you're easily able to determine mm. Uh, there is actually a bit of a variety. They're kind of standing there looking about. Some of them are speaking to some of the civilians who are being calmed down. I'm going to do a history check, although I do think they're paladins. Yeah, you don't need to roll a history check to know they're paladins. Okay, I never mind. Paladins. Who are they with, though? <laughs> yeah, there's a number of paladin orders. They look familiar. <laughs> okay, I could do that. Then I could, I could do that. Or, or you could just walk up and ask them. That's also true. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, next bus follows. Very well. I'll, I'll, I'll go up to one and like, uh, excuse me, have you been helped? I haven't seen you around. Well, we have just made our way into the village as poor a letter that we had received prior. I am Paladin Tyriel, the leader of the Swords of Salvation. We had heard that the lands of Rakroar have been under some duress, and after a bit of travel and asking around, we were told that the one who had sent this letter was currently within Chaldrill. You see that the removing their helmet is a golden dragonborn. Sandra's kind of taken aback by that. Seeing as how your lot either is a group of adventurers or mayhaps the chieftains that we had heard about. You technically heard correct. Hmm. Two of the people with us are chieftains. Well then, the Swords of Salvation are at your command. Uh, what exactly did... What, what do you know about the situation? May I see the letter? Uh, they pull out the letter that you had written previously, Sandra. Oh crap, this one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> did you write the Paladins? <laughs> Yes. I sent Would two. Like to know How many people did you write to? I sent two letters that day. One to the paladins, the other one to the usual Eventually, place. Right back at the what about? Okay, the first one was, um, the, 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 this one was, uh, more about the adventure guild than anything else. Mm -hmm. We've been briefed upon the updated situation. Worry not. Okay.
So, where would you need our blades? Hmm. We've come here looking for heroism, glory, to bring upon the righteous fury to those who have wronged the innocent. Yo, did you check that righteous fury that just happened out there? Dante says <laughs> shows up in covered blood. in blood. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of like blinks slightly and looks back to Sandra and Zach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were come across by a goose hydra. That was creature. a bird problem. Right. Yeah, see her? She blasted that bitch out of existence, points over at Demare. <laughs> Demare is still feeling extremely smug. Now doing a dance on top of the, uh, cannon. She's not paying right. attention to what's going on. <laughs> anyway. Well, find where best we are needed, and we shall certainly aid. Mm -hmm. And with that, the a lot of you can return to the tavern to finish preparation, and we can also take a break. Yay! Because, uh, you know, bathroom Eric's break. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of like I'm tired, man. Okay. Um, if we want, I mean, if you guys want to continue, we've only been at this two hours. I, I was going to say, we can continue getting all of the rest of the prep out of the way that was, you know, supposed to be mostly taken care of during the break, but uh, I, I, I'm assuming that uh, Demare is mostly going to be with cannons and technically not in charge of, you know, a lot of troop movement, so... Yeah. I'm only in charge of cannon movement. Yep. I'm in so. charge of violence. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go to bed because I didn't sleep well at all. Yeah, that get, absolutely get, get, fair. I say, get some good sleep, nope, bro. Not much questions, comments, concerns for this, but I had a lot of fun. I'm glad. You, you blasted that bitch out of existence, and you know I, what? We cool. I found a heart that I could eat. <laughs> we cool, we cool. Cool. I, I like how I messaged, like, if RNGesus fucks you on this, I'll be upset, and then you got a crit. Yeah, right. <laughs> RNGesus was listening. They knew. Alright, I see you. <laughs> Every minute. Alright, so, uh, hopefully recording is paused, because I'm also going to go use the bathroom and grab right, drink, yeah, so. I'll, I'll pause it right Herbs. now. <laughs> okay, we're back. Well, don't sound too excited, jeez. Uh. And what would that noise be? What? Oh, Steve, your mic went full ass. Yes. Just went into the toilet. Oh, no, oh, that's back. Alright. So anyway... Uh, we can go back to the water map and activate this. There we go. So, you all return to the town. You have the Swords of Salvation with you, and more or less, they are a specialized unit. As well as the adventurers are a specialized unit, though from what I hear they are staying in Chaldrill. Uh, you can see that uh, there is now a table with a large amount of scorch marks and a very unhappy cleric healing someone who looks like they have had their arm horribly burnt. The heck happened here? It was the sorceress, stuff. wasn't it? <laughs> So, uh... Oh, right. So, uh... Real quick, just something I've been meaning to ask, and I turned to the paladin guys. What happened mm -hmm. in Steadfast? What do you mean, what happened in Steadfast? Are you talking about the uh, unholy invasion from the hills? Yeah, what became of that? Well, at the current moment, we are still having skirmishes against the 
individuals from the Hells, but for the most part, they have taken over the town of Steadfast, and us within the Paladin City are attempting to wage war, but we heard that there was more more needed help elsewhere. So, while Dawnbreak and Steadfast are locked in combat, at the current moment, it seems that those who still reside within town are turned to ally with the devils from the hells. Okay, that is not what Demare told us. Thank you for allied? Thank you for, sorry, did I miss here? <laughs> did Demare say that the whole thing was over? Huh. Mm -hmm. Not like we've got really got much news from that area, so... <laughs> That's why I asked. Corrections are very welcome. <sighs> I haven't been with it instead of fast myself. Well, we'll see what more news we can get then from that direction. We have to future. go that way at some point anyway. Yeah. As for the, uh, or is there a deal? How should we plan this? Um, hmm. We are planning a bit of a night raid on the city of Orzur in order to at least disable the ballistas and help with the rest of the current of the actual siege to deal with their leader. Though, we sorely would require assistance with the actual sieging matters. Well, our blades are yours for now. Okay, since I'm involved more with the more vague planning and role currently with the sabotage assignment, suppose... Dante, would you have more of an idea on how to actually tackle this? <laughs> you have the uh, beginnings of ideas, but specifics elude me for this. I mean, I'm not one to be leading an army. <laughs> I, I'm not one to know how how to go about managing an entire grouping of people. I am very much been a lone wolf kind of person stuck on my own or protecting other people. I don't know much about leading fellow, you know, men at arms, per se. I am just here to do what is needed to be done so that we can take these fuckers down. Because I'm going to be on the front lines, I can tell you that. And part of my goal is also going to be to keep Nicholas safe. Which, if it is of any use, if we need to have any kind of signals to be sent. Uh, not in the sending some kind of way, but one thing I always carry on me, because anytime someone has need of me, if we get separated, I do carry a signal whistle on me. And I can give it to whoever needs it if they need to contact me in some way. They can just blare into this thing and I will come running. Maybe put that on Nicholas. <laughs> Yeah, he might need Perhaps. It. So I need to know if he's in danger, otherwise I'm not going to know. Once I see red, I see red. Hmm. But this signal whistle, it'll snap me out of it enough to be able to turn my attention to wherever I'm hearing it. Sir Paladin, does your company have any expertise with setting up logistics? <laughs> or at the very least... Some form of uh, assistance with managing this army. <laughs> it seems uh, the, that Book of Ron does not the, always work directly meshed together all the time, so this is new uh, for many of us. The other chieftain speaks up. If you're just needing some logistics, don't you worry about that. We got oh, okay. that for you. <laughs> 
us. Yes. I didn't manage to m manage an entire band of chuckle fox for this long. There's a reason that I stuck as the chieftain of this town. Let me tell you. That is fair. I hadn't had to fight any other chieftains in years. No one wants to be the chieftain of this town. And I'm probably the only one qualified enough to do it. So if you need some logistics done, don't you worry. Dwarven efficiency at its finest. Hmm. Nice. Oh, nice. I just spilled water all over myself. <laughs> the guy, <laughs> after he just went on that spiel, has water all over the... Ah, oh, fuck. No, that's me IRL. No, no, I know no, it's this you is IRL, but I now. like to imagine it's in character. He's just like, ah, fuck. Like, yeah, hang no, on, you'll have to give me a second. Now. This is not a small amount of water. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> either, either way, this is canon now. He spilled water. Alright, and after the uh, chieftain spilled water all over the floor... <laughs> Hmm. So our plan currently consists of trying to at least assault each of the gates at the same time as so to split their attention. Of course, it's a lot simpler for us to amass our forces to the west and to the south due to the, to the, to the roads and the allies in the, those directions. However, the east is particularly challenging, and I believe men of your expertise could probably handle it, and we would greatly appreciate any assistance in that matter. Of course. Are we going to be given any additional assistance? We are skilled at leading. Hmm. I'm sure we have some numbers we could spare to bolster that since we'd be sending some anyway that way, right? I was going to say, depending on the numbers that you guys have, there are my... Uh, I, have an, I have an army of 2,000 total between... Just looking at Dante <laughs> like, please... <laughs> Wait, we have that kind There's of about, We have about 20 of us. Hmm. Give them 100. In that case, actually. They do it's feel a, up to the task. Okay, Paladin Man, how many, how many do you think you need? If they feel up to the task of helping with some, like, leading as captains and whatnot in those things, we could probably split them along the three entrances and help with actually guiding orcs in the battle. Okay. Well, Drastic miscalculation it, on my part. We're actually working with twice as many men as I thought we were. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, me alone between my two places, I have 2,000 to work with. Well, typically, we all stick together as a unit, but um, we are skilled at leading, so those that you put us in the front ranks of, we will certainly be able to uh, take the brunt of the command at that part. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Say however you guys feel that you want to, to, like, you know, separate these numbers. I have my men that are able to help out. I don't know how many you think you may need, but if we're going to manage to attack all three gates at once, that was go that is going to be our best bet because they're going to have to focus their attention in all three places. Plus, we'll have Agreed. some people. Plus, uh, I don't know if we already mentioned this to you, uh, Paladins, but we are going to be having some that are sneaking in to try to take down the ballistas, because that is our biggest concern. And they're going to sneak in. And they're going to try to take those out. Right. I don't know well, if you've ever dealt with ballistas before. Uh, we certainly have, but might we ask what are we up against? Uh, well, horrors, essentially. We have illithids we're dealing with. Yeah, illithids, and more, most specifically, currently in charge of Orzur is a mind flare. That's, that's an illithid, yep. right? <laughs> I, 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 I grappled the fucking thing. Not pleasant to touch. I would like to ask, what is an illithid? Basically a horror it. from another dimension. Describe it as we a mind those squared. <laughs> ah, that doesn't sound that dangerous. Easy. Oh, easy we can oh it is. They are very skilled in subverting governments by taking they, they are, those at the top. So, they uh, are not something to be taken lightly. Uh, can I do a history check, Steve? On what? Uh, just, like, 
just info on Aelithids. I mean, you are an Aelithid expert, so... You should, yeah, oh. you'd be able to convey all that info. <laughs> okay, then. Uh... Like, Sir Paladin, I don't think you understand the sheer just how dangerous these things are. Like, I'm a man who isn't afraid of anything, but these things are not something to just scoff at. I can tell you that. They were able to trick an entire community, an entire the, the whole of Ulkavrang Uk into believing that there was a necessity it, for a civil war due to and and certain there's even the, and there's even the problems of having some of your, your some of your people that are around you suddenly turning into jello monsters you know yeah. it's not exactly <laughs> your run of run of the guard. mill like oh the big old monster I'm attacking no this is different buddy clearly these foul villains will stop at nothing to control the innocent so What's this is why we would we greatly wish for you to help us with this. At least if not, if not in the least to vanquish some evils. Worry not. The Swords of Salvation are experts and we are unwavering warriors of holy force. Oh. We're able to sniff out any evils that might be around and we certainly have had our fair share of larger combats as of late. As I, as I'm sure you have, and it is it is great that you ha that you have that like experience going for you. But I, I I need you to understand that I don't want you guys to go in either without having any semblance of proper caution as to what we're dealing with, because being confident only gets you so far. If you think if you don't don't get too big for your britches, is kind of what I'm putting out. Because I don't doubt your abilities. We don't <laughs> doubt your abilities, but we don't want you to cause yourself to make some errors because you think too highly of your abilities, especially against something that you don't know and don't Let understand. Let our lore master's knowledge assist you with your vanquishing Yeah, we, we, can, we can help you understand these things a bit better because we have our token wonderful book nerd here. I love him. He's great. Not so and he'll be able to tell you, forward. <laughs> he can tell he can tell you plenty and he'll help you guys understand these things better but definitely do not take them lightly and like it is a run-of-the-mill foe I, I will just well, I just want to make that abundantly clear right right why the fuck was the party like for what they oh, my typed in honks for internally he always honks. <laughs> he can't help it. I never agreed to the honking. Honk. <laughs> it's okay. It was just, it was just Zach that honked. Oh thank God. I thought I was That's losing a... my mind. <laughs> Do we know who sent the hon honk draw, or like did that just appear? I mean, judging from the direction, I'm assuming it was probably from Azure. Yeah, they'd probably be capable of magicking or summoning such a beast. Or Zer over here like half a fucking goose. Guys, I... if it came from that direction, then what's the then how well do we think Wadville lumberers fared against it? Hmm. They probably hid indoors and that thing just kept its escapade. I mean it could have also come from the wild the wildest forest. The wilderness? And, yeah, and, the and, and besides, I'm looking at might... the map. It says Wildest Forest. Why does it say Wildest Forest? I don't know. <laughs> Who got still, the map it might, it's Still, it, it might have not Why even gone where that? the lumbers are. It's it's not it's not like a fucking multi-headed goose is specifically obeying roads. That fucker's gonna go where he wants. He's gonna fly. He's just gonna go where he wants to go. <laughs> It wild is ass. wild ass. <laughs> no. It's the wild uh, ass forest. I never agreed to that name. Too fucking bad. Well, maybe Cope. you should have fucking named it yourself and I finished did. the rest of your lore. I called it the wilderness. Nope, it is the wild ass. Yeah. Too right. bad. Stealing from RuneScape is not making world lore. <laughs> there's a number of those already. It's too late. 
I know. Anyway, like so what's your fucking plan? I well, we said. Go, I guess we're gonna go forward with the infiltration um, idea. Okay. Yep, infiltration. Oh, yeah. Set up the armies while they're doing that. And stealth. Roll up the cannons as quietly as we can while the infiltration's going down as so to avoid uh, losing all okay. our cannons and shit. To confirm, you are splitting the party, correct? For the party yes. will be split, yes. Being, yes. Okay. It'll be Zach and... Uh, Sandra. Is it? Sandra. We will maintain radio contact yeah. via Sending Stone. <laughs> and it'll be me and uh, Nicholas, which, uh, what is it? I know we're not quite there yet, but Nicholas, I'm going to give this to you now. And he just takes out his signal whistle that does have a string around it and puts it over Nicholas's neck. Even when I am in an absolute fucking blood rage... Blow into this, and I will fucking turn around so goddamn fast. Just in case something bad is happening to you. I don't want it, I don't want anything bad happening. So just use this, and I will come immediately. Okay. Alright. Important question. Who are you bringing with you? The Sandra Strategic Services. Okay. Well, also I don't have all of the tokens for the entirety of the group. Well, it's so all hands getting... on deck for this one. Green well, counts one you of get, them. You get green, yes. The rest are implied to be there. Yay! The Implications. Rest would be handling their own respective set of targets. Goblin squad. Okay, so you're splitting. You're splitting your your squad, right? Let me clarify. Real quick, are we only taking out one set of ballistas? Taking out the main one, if necessary, if possible, take out all of them, but mainly yeah, you want to take but, out at least one. Yeah, okay. In fact, probably the one where we have the most units. So if it seems be... like it's infeasible to take out the rest, or it's going to be too difficult to actually take the gate, then we'll just take take the gate that's been opened, really. Let's, or, take like, out cleared the, of ballistas. let's take out the first two on the south, all hands on deck for this one. Uh, sure. I and would just if, say maybe a couple and, of messengers be left behind, but that's and okay. if that goes well, we'll go for the one to the east. Yeah. Sorry, no, the west. West. The, the, I was even looking at the, at, at the west when you said that. <laughs> I thought you said west. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, I will say you will have you'll have the full group but it will be represented as uh gree and yes sure wait why excuse me hang on i need to real quick correct this so are we ready to get into that now i would really appreciate it with we if we did <laughs> okay so, the group splits, and the forward scouting party makes their way towards Orzir as the army begins moving out. The I'm assuming that you have the Swords of Salvation leading a charge on the eastern side, and you're splitting your forces to have some of them marching on the west side. Uh, were you putting anyone as commander of the western forces? You can just choose not to attack the west, by the way. You can, you can just put all your eggs in one basket and attack yeah, one gate hit, instead of all we three. We gotta hit the west with something. Yeah, just, uh... Whoever. <laughs> I mean, there's still the city watch. You can just fucking have them lead. Now, when you say west, you don't mean this gate, right? No. Which gate? That's also, we, we, we did say that the paladins That's were going to be helping out with leading okay, the other groups, east. right? Uh, oh, we're no. going, we're, they're going to no. the west. Right, okay. 
They're going to they, the east. They, yes. they prefer to stick together. So okay. 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 Together. I thought All you right. said west. I really need a new company. All right. Somewhere. Paladins over here. Everyone. Every, main main forces are over here. We have it, some people be, going over here. I know it's gonna be. Uh, what is it? Of course, Sandra and Zach. You guys are gonna be. Taking, taking the this gate. Is at this one, and me and Nicholas should also be at this gate. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. right, we have the cannons the here too. Yeah, and Demir will be so, in the back with cannon. You are going to attempt to march there and arrive at nighttime, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. So. Do you want their armies I'll, a bit delayed of us actually doing I want, shit? Obviously. I was gonna say I want scouts to be on the lookout. Or anything that could be coming from that cave. You have your own scouts. The, I, out of I'll, curiosity, I'll note that the, the cave Dante. is more like over here. It was just put there to be thought of. Gotcha. So more it's like so it's but in other words, it's, it's way further away. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then I'm not as concerned. Okay, I fixed it. I put an extra little cave right here. There you go. Yeah. Thank you for drawing on the table. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> If you actually jump to the world map, you can see how far to the side it actually is. So. Yeah, like, it's... The, hey, the map loaded this time. How about that, guys? Yeah. Nice. The, the road actually goes like this. So, it, it is fucking way out everything, there. Everything looks so close together on this map. Yeah, this is... Uh, well, this is just the world map. We're not, not the over region. there. We're over here. No. Yep. Anyway, oh, you're. I love how fucking pink it is. You're, you're, you're gonna do this. <laughs> yep. It's a pie. What? Very poorly cut pie. <laughs> so yes. Uh, that was with really that... funny for some reason. <laughs> so. With that, do we want to start with the stealth section? Yes. Mm. All right. Let's get this over with. I mean, okay. So, Could do like an hour. <laughs> as, as the lot of you begin making your way, the main squadron that is in charge of stealthing their way in, Sandra... Zack and Sandra's squad as you make your way through the cover of night towards Orzer you make your way sufficiently up to it and then you notice something is very wrong and I'm gonna transfer all of you Uh-huh. Where to begin with this one? Looks like a whole lot of danger to me. Doesn't look like anything out of something orcish me. Fucking illithids, obviously. Yeah. The zerglings. Do are I coming. need to worry about this? You know, the there's zergs! Oh god. The um... Zergs, the creep is spreading. Huh, so they went full fuck it, I guess. <gasps> huh. That's different. Uh, oh, there's a lot of them. That is... Hmm. a lot. What can I see through my spyglass? How long has it been since your scouts are back from the other thing? Because damn, they moved. They worked fast. A couple of days. Did did it always have the crystals? I look at uh. Let me just grab his name real quick. I look at Yez, and I'm like, do they always have the crystal things? I didn't say something was up. Wait, I'm not going Hello. My internet died. Oh. Oof. Shit. Well, welcome back. Yup. Uh, okay, I will ask all of my questions again, then. 
do I need to worry about this? Yes. Okay. Uh, how close are we to that thing before we fucking notice it and stop moving? Because, <laughs> like, damn, we're close You're to about it. here. Damn, alright. We really so. did get, we done did get 60 feet towards a fucking giant spike flower before realizing, hmm, uh, that is horrifying. Uh, worth noting, <laughs> um, but before we even remotely got this close, I cast uh, Pass Without a Trace. Yeah, right? right you should have, cool. yeah, of course. Uh, like That is yeah. everyone <laughs> within 30 feet of me. Yep. Basically everyone. Okay. Yay. So... I will mention a couple of things. Uh, first, uh, obviously, you notice as you got within this distance, the town, everything was cloaked in darkness, but you hit the threshold here, and then suddenly you saw the glowing of red crystals, and you just see a lot of movement. The mm. crystal light is illuminating a large number of individuals moving, and you see even more moving within the other side of the wall. There what appears to be a large rune here in the ground that has been smashed, and everything is giving a very ominous glow. All right, questions. What are the movements? What do they seem to be doing? Go ahead, I look at They just you. seem to be milling about. Uh, also, can we... Can I... Can I recognize what that rune is for? Can, I mean, can I try, attempt to figure out what the rune means since Not it's Not from here! Fair. Hmm. What if I give him my spyglass? You're able to see that there is a rune. You want to maybe get off the road? Hey, let's get away from the giant. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> is that thing recognizable? What the utter hell? Yeah, we're moving. Uh, we're moving off of the road into the brush. What Gilly, is that thing? Gilly cloaks <laughs> on, and Zach, I expect you... you to wear one as well. Okay, fine. Put it on no, top of everything. Give you Yez's character and Yez. Oh, missions. Yeah, I can move him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you're able to move him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I didn't know. Whoa. So, uh, you notice that the ghillie cloaks, if it wasn't for the magical darkness and everything just being fucking dark in general, uh, it they do not match the landscape. The, the land here is way more ruinous and corrupted. Mm. But, you know, you're covered in magic darkness, so that, you're fine. Zach. Yeah? That's a lot of guys. Yeah, I don't... Well, they got the ballistas up still. I don't know what the fuck that flower thing is exactly. Zach. <laughs> yes. Trying to get it in there is suicide. And we'd still have to deal with the ballistas, though. Hmm. There is literally nothing that the 14 of us can do. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Hmm. Maybe we should go circle around to see if the other gates look the same. I is that thing moving? By the way, this no, no, it's just like a giant plant, or is it like an actual? Okay, you have no fucking idea what it is. Ah, uh, it seems plant esque. We're gonna do that thing Zach said. We're gonna keep our distance, but we'll check the other two gates. Just creep right. along. It will take. A large number of hours, especially stealthing, to, find to get to the other gates. Uh, the, so you're at the south gate? Yes. You will have to move to one of the other gates, and then go around the entirety of the town to get to the third gate. By the time that you get to the last gate, 
It will be sunrise. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough time to check all the other gates, do we? We maybe have in I maybe have enough in me to get us to one. Are you sure we couldn't get up to the ballistas? Quite sure. That is a suicide mission. Hmm. Oh, so, so, Steve, would you say draped in darkness? You just mean, like, to the outside of this area now? Uh, or... Put a 30-foot the... thing around me. Yeah, like, you, you have a spell of darkness. Put a 30-foot sphere around me of darkness. Sure, give me a sec. Yeah. Darkness imprisoned in me. Darkness. No parents. <laughs> Pretty big. Hmm. Do they have darkness? Imprisoning yeah. me. Fucking second. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's why fine. are you it's still fine. fucking blessed? Take your time. Why am why I? Is, why are they still fucking blessed? There's so many of them. They're <laughs> so I still had it too. I... Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it on you, Nicholas. It's I because oh, I got rid of it. It's because I Nicholas got... blessed me before we left. <laughs> oh, I told him on. to. I'm blessed with that. Have been cool. Ah, that been a good idea. Bless lasts us like a minute. So. Oh, well. oh shit. Yeah. Never mind. Don't... Uh, it's thirty. Does this work? Nope. Give me I a strongly second. feel like we can make the attempt um, to take out the ballistas and sure. flee in I'm time sure. for the army to cover. What's up, Nicholas? Uh, actually, no, I'm, not, I'm talking out of game. Uh, go into your uh, character page. Go oh my play, god, why is it paying? You just, just, you just get because... rid of temporary events that way. Effects that way. I did that with oh, You're covered in darkness. Or... Pink darkness. <laughs> Yeah, that that is that's when I try and make it a darker color. So okay, pink uh, is fine. Yeah, I can I can do like a a You'll deep green. Coming. Then they're that's, just poison. There we go. Green is good. Green is the color there. of her magic anyway, so it'll fit the yeah. theming of the show, if anything else. Yep. Advanced options. Luminosity. Okay, Zach. Yeah. I maybe have enough in me to get us to one of the other gates. I don't think it's advisable to seek another gate at this point. We should probably work with this one. Hmm. Zach. What? <laughs> Remember that thing I said about wherever the road takes us, but I won't walk to my death? Yeah, yeah. It's just... We have a bunch of people who are probably going to get mulched if we don't take out the ballistas. And I'd rather not they not take out all our cannons. So. Hmm. How should we handle this considering the updated information then? We what have if... ballistas. We see clearly there's not exactly going to be a... It's the situation's a bit different. We got Who's this weird... Say... Who's to say that we need to use the cannons to take out the ballistas? Okay. We have 2,000 troops, right? Hmm. Yeah. Probably would have no. resulted in them not coming back. Yeah, I know. It's... We love our scout. I do love those guys. We and... could go for a combination of having the armies come in while we're in stealth. Do you think that would affect our um, shaded circumstances? Yes. <laughs> it might get them to look the other way for a little bit, but it's still really risky. I, mm. You would have better odds with that plan, though. If we really have any alternatives aside from just waiting for daytime and doing everything directly. Well, here's what I'm thinking. We storm the place as hard as we can and get the ballistas as quickly as possible. With our, mm. inf with our infantry. 
Those things can only hit one person at a time. I mean, they'll blame me for concentrated pockets and whatnot, I suppose. Then we have our guys space out. Eh. They can't hit all of them. Out of character, Area 51. They can't stop all of us. They can't stop all of us. There's also the matter of this plant. Uh, do you recognize anything off the... <laughs> uh, hmm. I'd love to get closer to it, but, um, can I you know, I... Can I make a I'd, nature check to I choose see life. if I know what this is? If I've seen it in a book or something? Just Let's just share the spyglass and stare at this fucking thing. <laughs> Uh, so, as a nature expert, I will say, you've seen plants similar, but this is a fucked up monstrosity that probably is growing from corruption. Not like, sure I've seen that thing, but not that fucking big. Yes. It, it, it is, uh, how familiar is Sandra with monstrosities born of the machinations of corrupt illithid the answer is not i don't you're not well let's take my, some sketches and communicate with my answer team. to that question actually is i don't actually understand half the words you just said so it has to <laughs> all right i'm just pull out the sending stone and communicate a bit with their team back at the base. It has teeth. <laughs> yeah, alright, I, I pull out the stone. I know, me... I, know the, I know the mayor has the other sending stone, but would she, AFK, be able to talk to Nicholas for us? That, I'm getting it. I mean, she can relay the message to the rest of the party. And... Are you, yeah, she just hands it to Nicholas. Yeah, alright. And I'll... Um... Well, since he yeah, just... Yeah, we're not, we're not um, like, set up, set up, where we're all, all separated right. yet. Oh, oh, good, you're back. Okay, right. and I'll pull out the sending stone and be like, this isn't gonna work. There's a giant plant here. Get closer to this. Ballistas are still up. Need well, yeah, a new still plan. Up. Well, apparently our plan of invade of like infiltrating isn't gonna work. Well, then what the fuck are we supposed to do? My best bet. You can reply, right? Yes. Probably just gonna have to. If anything, we'd have to brute force this shit. Unless, yeah, the, but we, but we like have to have those 20. ballistas out. I'm. We're gonna get ballistas right through our fucking chest. Pass me that, and Zach's just gonna take the sending stone. I pass it over. Uh, this is Nick. Hello. Yes, this is Nick. <laughs> All right. So situation. Um, they've clearly gone in corrupt place with whatever their corrupt illithid stuff is. Um, oh. Everything looks very, very fucked up. Uh, the orcs are plant. Orcs are purple, there's blue... Actually, is there any... Are these actually purple, white, and blue guys, or like... Uh, no. Okay. These are just regular orcs again? Correct. Okay. Alright, just regular. Any differentiation between the white one and the blue one? Not that you see from here. Alright. So they've got all the orcs, I guess, milling about weirdly. Maybe they're like, I don't know, zombified, or whatever the fuck illithids do. They're clearly still manning the crossbows, and more importantly, there is this very thorny, large, evil-looking flower on the front lawn. I don't know if that'll come to life if we get near it. Um, I, I could best describe it like a... I put my hand on the stone while he's holding it. I had some ideas on that, actually. I'll get back to you. This is Sandra, can... by the way. <laughs> I could best describe this thing as some kind of, like, thorny starfish with a flower on top of it. That sound familiar to you, Illithid Master? Uh... Do I have to roll an odd check or history check in this case? For the plant? Yeah, for the plant. Uh... You... Yeah, go ahead and make a history check. Yeah, because I can't imagine Nick would know what that is. I do have some ideas on that, by the way. Hmm. 
Uh, I'll say with a 13, you just know things that uh, usually are around Illithid are typically dangerous. The exact machinations, uh, you haven't really, like, there haven't been many instances where Illithid have actually, like, made it to the surface and have been around enough to really do a lot of work. So this is kind of like the worst case scenario of everything that has happened ever. Oh. Um. Like, what they are relaying to you, the land itself being warped, like, that has never left the Illithid Caves before. So this is really bad. Okay, so they've left the so they've definitely left the tunnels and are literally using Orzur as their mating grounds, essentially. Uh, ooh. Mm. And you said there's a bunch of soldiers out there. Uh, not sure if they're soldiers. They look to just be like generic civilians. I think it's hard to tell. Mm. Steve, how much light these things? provide again the, uh, the crystals and whatnot <laughs> uh not a heck of a lot you like you being the uh I mean, I have devil sight but like <laughs> yeah the the devil sight is like the only reason that you're still able to see basically anything it, it gives a aura it's almost like a candlelight you can just see the movement and the fact there are some things. Uh, the crystals themselves certainly can be seen, but they they have like a, you know, 10 foot dim light. But the fact that you're like laying on the ground, you can see this movement. Also, it would be so much of a bitch for me to actually fucking hide all of these. So I'm oh, totally going I get to. that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, it looks like they're just... I think Orzur is very thoroughly compromised at this point. So maybe we should head back and consider a more so direct So maybe assault. we should, uh, you know, Eldritch Blast it off the map. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. the, the I spell that you need is a 10th level spell to destroy this entire town. Yeah. I didn't say one big spell, I said a lot of... Just do it a lot until it's gone. <laughs> So, uh, hmm. It's like you got a really big, big pie. You just eat it piece by piece until it is disintegrated into Zach, nothing. Yes? Did we buy that, um, uh, amulet of fireballs? Uh... No, you didn't. Yeah, I don't think anyone did. <laughs> yeah. Do we have any way to cast fireball? Uh, I can cast, uh, sleep. I need the you, charming okay, spells. Hey, paladins, you got righteous fucking fire coming out of your ass. Actually, uh, well, uh, I suppose if we really want to rush it, I could attempt. Nah, uh, it's not very big about to. We are not rushing you. this. Hmm. It's not exactly. Big. I kind of glanced down at my arm. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I don't know hmm. if my arms... with the visibility currently. I don't know if we could be able, we really be capable of just having them directly fight through right now. Though, hmm. At least once the darkness actually. The... Do we know if the darkness would lift later, or if it's just gonna stay like this the whole time? What my spell? No, the zone. Actually, I guess it's just cause daylight. Um, what? You mean the spell that I cast? No, Why can't I see region. you? I well, think I, got, like, I think I misunderstood where the darkness was coming from. I think it's just a fucking pass without a trace, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> yes. without a trace. All right, fair. I guess we just just uh, wait till early morning and begin the charge. This is just only as gonna last as soon as it becomes hour, dim. Which is... Yeah. Yeah, let's just head back then. Shit. <sighs> Situation is very different. I was—we were very much assuming the city was, uh, 
not exactly gonna bear its fangs at us this this, this quickly. <laughs> Much less, you know, be elephant mode. I kind of I, mean, I, I look yeah. through the group and track down uh, Yez, Sven, Richt, and Yvan, and and I'm like, you didn't think to mention the giant plants. The, there weren't giant plants. Is oh. everything normal back then? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe that was an illusion. I don't know. Okay. I say otherwise, this shit would move fast. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's spreading like wildfire. Okay, um, that's fine. It's not your fault. How yeah, let's head back before that thing notices us. <laughs> yeah. All right. Notice me, plant senpai. So. Please don't notice uh, me, plant senpai. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that, uh, you all slowly back out and can uh, go ahead and reassess, and I will give you the new map. Oh my god. If it would load... Oh, there it is. You've been holding out on us. It's yeah, so this cute. uh, this kind of changes so things. Oh, ho, ho. Hmm. so cute. Oh, look at that uh, effect. Look at that effect. I love the yeah, I saw that. That looks real yeah. good. So, with that, we can end session for now. Absolutely. And you can plan and be ready for next session. Mm. We're going to get Riggy wrecked, son. Let's watch them, folks. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, kind of hoped that the siege was going to happen today, but it didn't. Got to be fair, we wouldn't have that much time. Got to wait another yeah, week, we had, guys. We, there, was, there was a whole heckin' honker that we had to go on. Also had, a lot of planning. Kill, we had to kill the bird. Yeah, you guys got to wait one more week. Nope. Just one more week, I guys. finally got to eat my first enemy. Congrats. I... I... I very much was the entire time being like, just fucking go. Just go. You're making all of these plans, and the second you get there, you will understand why you are immediately going to throw all of your plans away. Hey, hey, in our defense, it came off as like you're gonna siege an actual fucking city as opposed to, yeah. oh god. I was looking forward to a siege. Uh, yeah, you're gonna fucking siege this city. It's just full of monstrosities. The wall here don't look too good either. Maybe that's a it's whole just like okay, this. maybe stealth, maybe maybe coming across the wall bad, considering giant fucking plant out there. I don't know what that thing does. And, ah. and before we end, I'll tonight, tell you right now, it's a plant. Just don't put your face in it, and you'll be fine. I've I know that was fucking my first, plants that, was that my move. Damn it! That was my first thought. Was just that like yeah, it's an overgrown plant, but if you as long as you don't stick your fucking hand in it, you're fine. Anyway, um. <laughs> Uh, before we actually end tonight, uh, just contracts and the sort. This map is brought to you by Incarnate. We're using the uh, top-down city maps for this one. I forget exactly what they're called, but you can, you have access to all of these tools, tools via the link down below in the description. Mm -hmm. But if it's all right with you guys, I think we can go ahead and move over to Conversation Castle. I gotta say, I have another map that I've just been sitting on, and I'm just, like, so excited to eventually get this as your boss fight. Oh, is it, like, <laughs> the throne room or some shit? No. Oh. It, it, it's a, it's a different... It's a lab, isn't it? Uh, yes. I don't know, considering ah, okay. the fucking ominous glow. <laughs> My other guess would have been the caves. <laughs> Hey, the caves could still be a thing too. I don't yeah, know, but maybe no, they like the swanking area. The caves, unless we were just gonna collapse that. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much. It is really, really fucking good to be back. We will see you guys next week. <laughs>